today we have the all new 2022 Subaru BRZ in Forza Horizon 5 and normally I don't drive the cars without you guys there but I wanted to compare this to the Toyota GR86 and see if they were like exactly the same car because the uh, the older BRZ and the GT86 drive fairly similar <clears throat> like almost identical and to my surprise the GR86 is vastly different than the the BRZ the the BRZ isn't as like oversteery as the GR86 and when this thing does oversteer and it goes into a drift it's it's good but I I have a little less control over it than the G GR I keep wanting to say GT than the GT86 <laughs> than the GR86 and I think I like the 86 a little bit better But anyway, let's get straight into this. Cause I haven't looked at any of this stuff yet. I just drove the car. So you get blue, white, silver, charcoal, and black. I'm gonna leave it blue. Subarus are blue, guys. I had some dude tell me Subarus are red, and I was like, bro, what are you talking about? Subarus are blue. <laughs> Doesn't sound half bad. So anyway, for engine swaps, looks like I've got the 3.2 inline six. I'm still not sure what that engine is. Got the 2.0 liter flat four turbo, which I believe to be the engine out of the Subaru Impreza. The 4.0 flat six, which I believe to be a Porsche engine. 2.0 flat 4 turbo rally which I think is the one out of the STIs 6.2 V8 C8 Corvette 3.0 inline 6 turbo that's the 2J I've never seen a 4.5 V8 I've seen a 4.0 sounds like European? Maybe not. I don't know what that is. These are just what I think the engines are. But you get some pretty good engine swaps here. I like the deeper pitch of the normal 2.0 flat 4. But I'm going to do the turbo rally. Oh, wait, I just realized, I was think I know that I said um, in one of my past videos, like in the past couple weeks, that, oh, the Subaru BRZ is probably going to have the same upgrades, like cosmetics and body kit, as the GR86. I, I've been mistaken. There is no body kit for the BRZ. No body kit. That, uh... The GR86 gets that crazy rocket bunny kit. So anyway, let's get straight into this. Um, at least we get something that isn't Forza. What does that say on the bumper? There's a badge on this splitter right here where my mouse is, but I don't. I like that little splitter though. I'm rocking with it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this gets us a few things, not just the spoiler. You get this up here. That's a manufacturer spoiler. Subaru. Oh my goodness, what are you guys doing? That's atrocious. I mean, like, it's not horrible, but, like, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> 
and you get the Forza Arrow wing. Like, you know it's bad when I almost like the Forza Arrow better. I mean, like, at least it's a race wing, so you don't have to put this thing on here if you don't want to. I'm gonna go with this, though. Oh, whoops. I like the little carbon duck tail they got going there. What do we got? Ooh. Look at the size of that exhaust tip. Thing got way bigger. I like this. Let's see what we got here. Little side skirts, little add on to the vent. I really quite like the. I mean, like, it's not what I was hoping for, but I quite like the arrow that they have for this car. Just gonna throw on some, uh, some semi slicks, I guess. I don't know exactly what I'm building here. I'm just kind of. Why do I get tires that wide on the. I don't know exactly what I'm building here. I'm just kind of winging it and seeing what happens. As I typically do in these new car videos. Look at that face. That's creepy. He, he looks like he wants to sell me drugs. <laughs> I don't know why that's the first thing that came to my mind. I'm not gonna lie, this thing doesn't look half bad that low. The fitment's actually quite nice in the back. Probably could use a little less camber in the front. Hmm. <clears throat> Kinda wanna try something though, try something stupid. Yep, doing something stupid. Okay. So I did drive this car preview before doing any upgrades on it. It drove pretty nice. It'd be a cool car to leave stock. But uh I'm not really that type of guy. Just wanted to hear the anti lag to be honest with you guys. Dang, I can almost get this thing. This thing's almost top of S1. I could probably make a sweet rally car with this. But nah, I think if I'm gonna make anything a rally car, it'd have to be the 86 over the BRZ just because I have the A86 rally car. So, like, I gotta make the GR86. <coughs> Dang, look at the rally suspension, the way it just squats when I shift. That's pretty cool. The reason I put rally suspension on is I should probably go over to the festival and try to do this. Yeah. Okay, so the whole rally suspension thing has to do with drifting. And I thought... I feel, I feel like I need to yawn. I'm not gonna do it though. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna fight it. I'm gonna fight for my life out here. Um. Yeah, I put on the rally suspension because I think maybe if I time it right, I could probably pull off like a perfect four wheel drift. I probably should have downshifted a little sooner there. Oh yeah, I can definitely do it. But anyway, let's see how it handles normally. Cause that's what's neat about rally suspension. Is you could drive this you could drive it or you could just like if you hit the brakes and sling the car just right, like flick the wheel just right, it'll 
switch up into a drift. That's why it's like all those initial D and like MF ghost cars that I built. Like, I don't really build any MF ghost cars. I just built the one, uh, the 86. But, um, like all those initial D cars, most of them are running rally suspension. Just for that reason right there. It's because I can grip and drift with it. Because <clears throat> like if you tweak the settings enough, you can adjust it just by like how much pressure you put on the brake. Like if I really just get into the brake pedal, it'll drift. But if I can brake normally as well. Anyway, let's just let's get a couple more laps in, just normally driving, whilst not being a maniac. Okay, let's get one more lap in, just driving regular here so you guys can get a look at how it drives. Decide on whether you guys want it or not. It's a pretty good car though so far, I'd, I'll say. I feel like it'll make a fun drift car. Because that's one thing with the... With the GR86... That yawn is coming back. It's coming back. I'm gonna fight it though. <laughs> with the GR86... Um, I made a track car to that car because I figured, okay, like, that's kind of more so what I associate the 8.6 with, is like, more like a track and rally car, um, I swear the BRZ, I see a lot more drift cars than anything as far as BRZs go. So I feel like I could make a sweet drift car to this. Oops, I threw it in reverse. Um anyway, so overall this car, I mean like it's got decent aero options. Honestly, like nine and a half out of ten. I mean, like, it's a pretty sweet car. You get decent arrow options. Maybe a 9. Decent arrow options. Fun to mess around with and drive. Doesn't look half bad. Just the one thing is, like, I don't want to be that guy. But we already have the, we already have the GR86. And this is basically the same car. Like, the front... Bleh. I need to yawn. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it though. That front bumper is like, that's different. But other than that, it's the same car. <laughs> like I don't want to be that guy, but somebody's gotta, somebody's gotta play devil's advocate here to be that guy. But yeah, overall, really cool car though. Loving it. Like McDonald's. I don't really care for McDonald's that much, but I just felt like saying that because I said I'm loving it. Anyway, uh, we're gonna just want to thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you in the next video, and um, we're gonna do some donuts. And that's all from me today.